Oh, looks like we're going to be at 106 smooches for a while. Then. Unless it counts, like, our party members kissing their girlfriends. Uh, I guess we can, we can check that out. But, yes. Did you get up to anything fun over this weekend? I know I tried out um, Monster Camp with a couple friends. Uh, it's the sequel to Monster Prom. And uh, we did not... We tried to do the whole whole VAing all the voices, which made it take forever. I think it took like five hours. Um, so it was definitely dead by the end of it. Oh, this is so weird with Melody not being first. Um, and because I had never played the game before, I kind of messed up, and I didn't really get... Didn't really get to, uh, to pair up with the character I thought, or the character I wanted, alas. Play games and avoid personal projects? I mean, it's fun to take a break and play games, but if they're personal projects... I don't know. I tend to bounce between a bunch. Um, might be undiagnosed ADHD, just might be whatever, but... I tend to work a little bit on a lot of stuff. The problem is you never start them. Uh, I certainly have a problem where I will overplan things. And like, you know, the past few weeks or so with a lot of my redeems being having little quirks and janking is purely self-inflicted error. Because I was re-engineering everything in case I ever get more models, just so they can track the models individually. So if some redeems work on some models, I can automatically have those disable whenever that model is active, and I can just automate switching models. Sometimes, sometimes being like the third generation, being a third generation IT person has its drawbacks. These are all complete. Are these green complete? Yeah. Lock gate in the mountains east of Amber Woods. Okay, okay, okay. Plan everything and do nothing. Hey! I need a chance to thank you guys for your help the other day. Oh, don't sweat it, Red. Really? No. That attack was something else. You say it ranks on the scales of emergencies you've dealt with? Well, somehow nobody died, so I can't say it was the worst disaster we've ever seen. But in terms of pure chaos, I've never seen anything like that. Knowing that the goddess of magic herself was involved sure does go a long way towards explaining how the hell all that was possible. Not that that makes anything, things any simpler, but hey, it's not my job to answer those questions. Right now my job's just to keep an eye on the force field. Yeah, how about that? Isn't there supposed to be a big bubble around town? I don't see it. Oh, it's there. It's just invisible. It keeps people and monsters alike from panicking. It's also tuned that, so that certain people can pass through. So you're free to head off into the park. How convenient! Well, take care, Brett. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Yeah, the only way I've been able to to break the cycle of forever planning and actually make any progress is to just keep breaking it down into smaller parts. Like, um, I've been wanting to make a, like a lore video kind of thing, and like some days I will literally just open uh, an art program, make like three shapes, save it, and close. But, you know, any progress will eventually stack up to something significant. Um, sometimes you just, you just gotta do whatever you can to get that little nudge, that little ball rolling. Um, I think I need to head east. Yes. Damn, these flowers are so big I can't even walk past them.
soothing music on our travels up the mountain. Actually, I probably could have used that fast travel now that I think about it. Um, wait a minute, hold on. Isn't. I think there was a boulder blocking our path here last time. Um, Uncanny Valley. Okay, so Uncanny Valley is where we need to go, but there's also Faith's Mentor. So we need to do... I think we need to just keep doing this. Problem is project always overly ambitious to your skills, no matter how you break them down, they always seem overwhelming and unmotivated. Un 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 Oof, yeah. I know when I was first contemplating the whole late children. I uh didn't see a keyhole though. This cave welded shut. This magic is sealed. Just try holding out the key. Ah, oh, there we go. I uh tried arting and rigging um a model. And uh yeah, there's a reason I didn't create my own and had to had to look around and save up for, for commissioning a model. <laughs> it is it is something that's beyond my skill set, and I don't know. It does take a while to build things up, which is why I respect um, artists and such for their dedication and time they put in to learn those skills. Oh, huh. I guess it's gonna be above a hike to get to Zena's place. She sure does live out of the way. Well, Faith told me she tends to keep to herself. Why his old sorcery masters are just like that, I suppose. It certainly... I don't know. It just kind of depends on how you learn things. Because, like... I, you know, usually whenever you do anything in IT, like if you're learning programming or scripting, usually, like, the first thing you do is... You make a, you make a Hello World program. And that has been, like the easiest way to turn me off doing any learning. Um, I've never been able to learn by doing, by like going through the motions with a useless program. Oh, it's, it's a li little wizard. Little wizard, little lizard, wizard, wizard, lizard. Hey, it's a gnome. Oh, this is where all the gnomes have gone. They just all crawl down here. Let's see if the little wizard has anything on him. Yeah, 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 I should have expected that. Modern big scary for your programmer ass. Technically, you know how to do it for your career. Uh, yeah, like... I've tried using specific projects to get myself to pick up new, new skills. So, like, one of... Well, not really the biggest reason, but like it's certainly a tertiary benefit to StreamerBot that I've been using for a lot of my redeems and automation, is that it has a C-sharp, it can execute C-sharp code for its stuff. So instead of using the GUIs, you can actually like program it. And I've been using that to slowly build up like my understanding of how C-sharp works. Um, because my most... My most thing has been, uh, like, scripting in PowerShell. Hey, Pokemon! Welcome on by! I don't know, I already, I already, I already had some food. I had some, I had some... Last bit of my Gochujang veggies and rice. I don't need any hot dogs. And Allison is a very low HP. Um... Yeah, let's do a direct deal. <laughs> it's certainly gotten to the point where, like, there's interesting IT niches, no matter what um, your career field is. Sometimes it's just finding how things fusion together. Now you're back in dev with two experiences, if you ask me, you no know, idea. Miss Mill, I have. Four years of sysadmin network administration. I have another three years of netsec, infosec. I have now 
two to three years of SaaS uh, uh, with with uh, some Microsoft products. I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> uh, all I do is I focus on getting to the next day. <laughs> uh, it's it's sort of something that I've just learned to live with it. I always always know that there's gonna be there will always be something more. Oh, hold on. Someone's fucking... I don't know why people wear fucking having their engines out there today. For Monday, just chill, peeps. But our focus is ceased and broken IPs. Well, that's, that's basically IP. <laughs> Well, sometimes it's just being good at Googling, <laughs> as funny as that is. Which, it's- sometimes it's surprising that literally that's all you need, is just being able to look well. Like being able to search well, um, it's a, it's it's not a skill that can really be taught. You just kind of can do it or you can't. I guess at least that's from my experience in uh, end user support. Did any Google any more response for the same part of the system for the last ten months? I am building up that. Building up that extra beats. Stony crap. Harpy elite. Hey yo. Them legs though. I still don't get why they have a shin guard on their non-kicking leg. Honestly, you just want to quit. I mean, I would definitely... If it is miserable... You definitely, uh, definitely want to try and take care of yourself, because, um, burnout is real, and it really, really sucks. Can you throw a brick at me? No, oh, thank you for the head Uh, I don't have any bricks. Um, there are gnomes, apparently. The gnomes are locked and loaded. Locked and gnomed. Taunts, and then we'll let's get rid of the crabs. I think the crab is a wizard, maybe. And like the thing with IT is, I mean, I don't know, it's just with IT. Oh! Uh, <laughs> or we can gnome jam, <laughs> basically. Um, not even just with IT, but a lot with places is you can't even. Uh, can't even expect to get raises within the company nowadays. You usually have to jump somewhere else to get any kind of significant raise or recognition, which sucks so much. Because I'm certainly the kind of person where, at least nowadays, ever since I got burned out, my passion for IT has plummeted a lot. Did it throw a gnome? I feel like it didn't throw the gnome. There it is. Yep, yep. Ah! Yep, alright, alright. I see. I noticed it. I see. <laughs> yep, literally, literally asked it. Because <laughs> everything is urgent, no matter what you do, it's never enough. That's the same in all companies. Yeah. I know for, like, one of the things that's really helped that helped mitigate, it didn't really solve it, um, but in places where they, they're, you're constantly getting thrown with, this is urgent, I need you to drop what you're doing and do this now, if you can have, if you can find, like, a supervisor or manager as far as, like, like, alright, you have these five things on your plate, someone comes to you, it's like, this is urgent, you need to do it now, that's like, alright, I have these five items, which of these items do I bump off? Um, I think if you can, you want to you want to be able to prioritize, and at least for me, 
having a pre this like having a plan for if someone asked me, well, why didn't you do this? Then I have already something is like, well, I had I had this thing and this thing and this thing, which were told to me to be a higher priority. And those are what I've done. Um, that's helped me. But again, you know, everyone's work situation is different. And as your manager is doing this, yeah. Yeah. It certainly depends on on how all that be as far as how receptive they are as far as prioritization. But definitely if you can find a way to I don't know. Get a list. Because there's at the end of the day, there will always be more work. Um, one of the biggest things I've done since I got out of uh once I got out of uh, my, my burnout circumstance is I've been much, much more um, rabid about as soon as my work shift is done, my phone is off, they cannot contact me, um, it is my time and not my work's time. Um, because I am pretty predisposed into losing myself in the sauce on projects, especially if I find it interesting. And I might like just take the work home with me and continue fiddly fiddle farting around. The chest was actually a mimic. God damn it. Oh my god. Look at how cute that mimic is. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's too bad I have to kill it. Do I have to kill it? Maybe I can steal it and take it with me. Means for like 200 now. I mean, use your power responsibly. I will say, like, I know, like, model switching is certainly going to be a more expensive one. I think the Sandetta stand is going to be above my other. Because I'm thinking with the Sandetta stand, I'm going to have it be a permanent change as far as switching where I am. So I think that one's also going to be a pretty expensive one. I don't. I was thinking about having it flip the entire overlay, and then I realized I would have to go in and, like, cut up the overlay to flip it, or else everything looks weird. Um, or maybe I'll just roll with it and, you know what, I might I might just roll with it and just flip everything and leave it, leave it scrungly. That actually might be funnier. But, uh, yeah. Eventually... I wanted I wanted to get all my redeems working in a functional state so I can add more uh, model stuff. Um, obviously, it has taken me a while because I just keep getting I keep getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 50 things I want to do. Ah, resisted. I see. Man, this uh this mimic certainly can take a beating. All right, so low kick not so good. Um, what about Magic Missile? Actually, can we just... Can I get... Hold on, where's my mana? Yes, full revive. Hey, welcome on by, Empress! Playing some Valorant? Hell yeah! Yeah, y'all win any? Or did you at least get close? What am I thinking of? Magic Aura. I swear Claire ha or Melody had something where she could give mana. I am losing my mind. What? We'll, we'll just we'll just have her heal. One of you. Nice. We are just getting started tonight with some slurpy G. But, uh, I know, streaming some hard work, so you should certainly take a minute to stand up and stretch. Uh, maybe go leave a piss. Take a water. Um, I would recommend you get the water from a different place that you piss in. Um, I don't know. I, I, I would say that's, that's my recommendation. <laughs> How are the baby snakes drink the toilet then piss in it? I mean... It's certainly better than the other way around. 
I feel like there's other places you could acquire your water, though. Um, that's for sure. Uh, personally, I would always recommend using a, a filtered water, even if you get tapped. Um, but that's just because I've lived in places that had not so great tap water. So I've gotten in the habit of using like a little like couple gallon um, filter filter thing. Uh, how do baby snakes? Uh, talking about my actual snakes? They fed nicely earlier. Ooh, Lefty had a lucky coin. Yeah, yeah. Dantes and Heidi have eaten quite well. They are being that silly, silly little noodles. And it's starting to warm up, so it's almost to the point where I can take them outside for a little, little bit of walkies. Doubles the amount of gold? Oh, I need double gold. I do probably need to heal. Because these enemies are starting to hit pretty hard. Beardy Boy's feeding himself with some warmer weather. Nice, nice. Do you have any pictures of them? I have not taken any recent pictures. I'll probably try and get some new ones because there's a park nearby. So I would like to get, uh, I would like to take them out there just to get them nice green grass because I don't really have a nice uh, photo box or anything like that to take pictures of my snakes. Showing off his beard and shedding a lot. Nice, nice. One thing I do like about snakes is when they shed, it's usually in like one piece. It's very easy, very easy to dispose of. Very nice. And this is the fact that I can't use Kiss as my opening for Melody is really messing up my usual routine. Get her started on star power. Over here, dummy! Distraction! Ah, uh, she got turned to stone. Wait, oh, I made Claire auto attack. Oh, I'm so dumb. Fuck. Alright, Claire, I need you to multi cross. And I need you to heal Claire. Tell Scale Viper that fun jets. Ooh, I'm dead. But yeah, I have a Hog Island Boa, which is the basis for this model. And then also a Wilma Python. Those are the two I still have. I had nine at the height, but I had to rehome a bunch um, when I moved, which made me very, very sad. Especially my Taro Humaras, because they were beautiful. Oh, I love my Taro Humaras. Alright, we need to purify... Wait, no. Purify... Corruption. I cannot cure stone, it seems. Interesting. Let's do another lovely aura, and then I can do magic aura. I swear I had another... Someone had a way of using star power to give MP. And it's bugging me... I'm gonna look at my my characters. Was it one of the skill books, maybe? Hmm. Dude, he's no longer petrified. All right, let's dive bomb. We will. Honestly, she doesn't have a lot of health left. We'll just we'll just full press. Ow. Claire, I need you to hold on. Claire, I need you to invest in HP, because you have... So, why does the healer have almost twice as much AP as you, HP as you, Claire? You're killing me! You're killing me! Well, you're killing yourself. I'm trying to keep you alive. Where? Sun Souvenir? No. Gus? No. Regenerate 60 MP. Where's the thing I was using to regenerate MP? I feel like I'm gaslighting myself. I swear. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. Is it? 
think it is from one of the other things. No, not glitch class, machinist, alchemist. No? Alright, I'm... Put a pin in that one, just, just press on. Some pictures. Oh, okay. I'll have to, I'll have to check them afterwards. You know, for someone who's this high fountain wizard mentor person, they certainly have a lot of monsters uh, near them. We oh, already have a lunar wand. Uh, fuck. Cool, great, didn't need to buy any of those Lunar Wands, because I found one. Don't you hate that in RPGs, you shell out for new gear, but you, uh, immediately open a chest that has that gear? Harpy Elite! I feel like that belt is not conducive to kickboxing. Like, it has such a large, like, area... I feel like it would get in the way, like, if you if you do any, like, sweeping kicks or anything. I feel like it would limit the range of your, of your, your leg motions. Let's go with Taunt. Good. Always a good start. Let's get rid of the wizard, because the wizard's probably squishier. And we will go with Resilient Aura. And they don't have a... Well, I just mean, like having something in the way of, of moving, because you're kind of moving your leg and it's crossing over your hips, sort of thing. More of that. Because, like, like if you have if you have a, like, a piece of metal, like, hanging down from your waist, it will get in, it'll kind of get in your way if your leg moves from one side to the other. That's sort of, sort of what my pondering do be. Alright, I'm gonna do a little multi scorch, and then you need to heal everyone. Of course, Brazilian Aura does not give star power. Wait, is she getting two star power per purse? I need to double check that, because if so, nice. Um. The Zerker Barrage. Sure. We'll have Allison go for the old high kick. Actually, I feel like sweeping the legs. You know, she's up on one leg. That'll probably be the trick. And then, lovely Aura. Oh, it does give her two-star power. Hell yeah. Alright, low kick did not work, actually. Uh, that was not the one to go, so I guess it is high kick. Maybe she's unbalanced. Um, eh, Frost again. That should actually kill her, now that I think about it. So let's go with... Magic Aura. We need to keep our MP topped off. Claire, Blood and Ashes. Yeah. Claire, I need you to have more health. Damn it, Claire! All right, Melody. Let's heal her up. I guess Jody also needs to be topped off. Drecky Discord win. I don't know. Probably a very, very long time, if ever. I am a little bit. Oh, this must be the place. Do you know anything about Zena, Jody? Not much. Face brought up having a mentor named Zina a few times, but we never met. I don't think she uses social media. Face's a good judge of character, though. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. Nyalo? Hi. Is Zina home? You're speaking to her. Oh, here are my manners. You must be Faith's friends. Hold on just a sec.
Hey, yo, yeah, see, dragons, we got that polymorph. I love, I love her hair. That is so fucking cute. The little sides with the little, with the little scrunchy things. Oh my god! There we go. Sorry for starting you like that. I was just stretching. I get all stiff if I don't morph back to full size every now and again. I also forget sometimes that most folks don't run into dragons every day. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, come in, come in. It's chilly out here. I'll make us some tea to warm up. Hell yeah. Also, fast travel door? I don't know if I need to go into it to unlock it, so I'll just go in and out real quick. It's, well, I mean, part of it is setting it up, but it's also like, I, uh, I don't really spend a lot of time in most discords. I mostly focus on, like, one specific one. We probably shouldn't track dirt all over this handmade dragon-sized quilt. She even has a dragon-sized alarm clock. Probably has to be made out of, like, orichalcum and other strong metals, because I fear you're a dragon, you know, you habitually slam the alarm clock to snooze it. Uh, you know, it's gotta, it's gotta be able to resist. Resist all that smashing. So it's more like 90% of my Discord, 95% of my Discords are just emoji storage, more so than anything. I just don't have a lot of uh, energy to <laughs> hang out on Discord too much. I spend a lot of time just lurking and vibing most everywhere. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Zena. My name's Jody, and this is... Oh, there's no need for introductions. Faith's told me all about you four over the years. Especially you, Jody. I hope you realize how crazy she is about you. Ah, uh, that's one way to heat up some tea. Tea, anyone? Full recovery, hell yeah. I know that you're here on a mission, but we don't need to rush. I don't get to meet new people often these days. So you're Faith's mentor? That I am. I've tutored many a guardian over the years, and Faith's the latest. I don't come across bright young spellcasters like her often, though. She's really something special. Wait. We don't get a new guardian all that often. How old are you exactly? Allison is rude to... Oh, about a thousand, give or take. Dragons live a long time. Wow! You don't look a day over 800. Ha! I like this one. You must be Allison. That would make you... Melody. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's me. I hear you started training as a healer recently. And on a team with your girlfriend, no less. How's that going? It's, uh... It's going. I see. And you must be Claire. Yeah. I bet Faith's told you all about me. She has. She tells me you're very passionate about your magic studies, that you're always trying to challenge yourself. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago, actually. She was a great witch herself. Anyway, we can get down to business in a moment. For now, make yourselves at home. It's very community Discord has to be right now. Yeah. That's true. This is a really solid collection of magic books, but I feel like I'm desensitized after seeing the library in the Guardian's vault. Faith let you into the vault? Uh, I'm not sure that'd even make it to the top 10 weirdest things that have happened to us this week. Well, like, there's a lot, like, I still, I'm still working on making my lore videos, so it's kind of like, there's so many, again, <laughs> 50 projects, but only enough time for, like, five at a time. Oh. Still books. What about this? Wow, sick DVD library, Zinna. You big movie buff? Oh, I don't know if I'm an expert, but I do have a nice little collection. As you can imagine, living for centuries and centuries gives you a lot of time to kill. Books are great and all, but I was so excited when home video became a thing. I just started grabbing all sorts of stuff, so I'd have things to watch. I'm also kind of a sucker for cheesy romance, so I snatched up so many box sets of all those long sitcoms and soap operas. Infinitely... Streaming has kind of made these useless. No way. A nice collection is still a nice collection. Sweet record player. Wish our guild HQ was half as cool as this place. Well, you, far, you four are always welcome to visit. 
You might want to be careful about making offers like that to Claire. Just ask our local librarian. Nah, nah, that's fine. I can't remember if I saved, so I save again. Wow, you have a lot of magic degrees. Are most of these honorary or something? Oh no, they're all real. That's not too hard to do when you've been alive for a thousand years. I like to keep my magic knowledge up to date, so every couple decades or so, I enroll at a different magical school and see what's new in academia. Naturally though, I'll go in disguise to get the genuine experience. I don't want any special treatment. What if you make friends with your classmates, though? Does living a double life ever get in the way? Oh, if I end up making any new friends, I'll just let them know the truth after graduation. The look on their faces is always priceless when they find out I've really been a giant dragon the whole time. Uh oh. Oh, whoops. Kind of zipped by that. So that's the bedroom. Oh. You can see that room later. I still need to make some preparations. I see. What's back here? Alright. Let's get down to business. To defeat a god. Thanks for the offer, though, Pokemon. Now then, let's get down to it. Fate told me there's a situation you need help with. But she didn't give me many specifics. She just said my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, um, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine. Faith doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about it, me, though. I'm still pretty spry by dragon standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Man, where even to begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. We're here to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. Sorry, I must have misheard you. One more time? We've been challenged to a fight by the goddess of magic. You probably know her as Fortuna, but her name is really Verena. This can't be. I know. We're sorry. It's a lot to ask of someone. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. Like, I knew Verena. What? Are you sure it was her? Describe her. Uh, well... She had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her! God, I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. I guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's a part of my past I've tried my best to bury. I just don't understand. Verena's back? After all this time? How? And she's threatening Green Ridge? I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have any idea why she might feel that way? I do. Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things to explain. A little over a thousand years ago, long before Green Ridge was founded, I lived here on the Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life, living off the land. Then one day, out of nowhere, Verena appeared. I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Verena. The fucking little scrungly little doodle face. <laughs> I'd never seen a human before, for one thing. But even though she had never met a dragon before, she didn't look like she didn't look at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean you couldn't? Even as a dragon? No. We dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal, and sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I could naturally shapeshift and breathe fire, like any dragon can, but I couldn't cast spells. Verena said she had been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was surprised as you... She was as surprised as you are that I couldn't do it. Reverie was full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually, I wore her down. She was nice, though, but I didn't have enough mana to cast spells. So to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. 
I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Verena was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up asking for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Verena built Tower to call her home. Then we built a small magic school to the north and started taking on students. I had picked up on Verena's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. But before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the goddess of magic. So wait, is Verena a goddess or not? There's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. There's something I don't understand though. It sounds like Verena was getting along so well on Reverie. So what happened? Why is she looking for revenge and trying to take away our magic? Verena didn't leave by choice. There was... an incident. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. One I've spent the better part of a thousand years repressing. I don't know what's happened to her in the centuries since then. I have no idea who this Jabba's character she's traveling with is. But that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about Reverie. And it's also why I can't face her. Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Meeting Verena was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. And even if that wasn't the case, Verena was... She was a dear friend of mine. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Verena, but... Well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance, and I've never been one to turn up down a pupil in need. I can see for myself what she meant by that. You seem... lost. So I'd like to propose a little special training. It's the least I can do after you came all the way out here. Sorry, but I don't know if all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know, but whatever your roles are in all this, I don't think you're ready just yet, physically or mentally. And, well, in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can't. And what I can do is I... is teach. I mean, sure, I guess. Not like we got any better ideas, right? Sure. Fine. I'm in, I suppose. Excellent! As a little warm-up, I'm running low on special dragon berries I used to make my dragon berry tea. You four can help me gather some in the mountains while I make some preparations back here. Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one, in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. I wonder if, like, since she wore her down in regards to teaching magic, I wonder if she just... kinda kept pushing? And then something happened. Something bad happened. Like if 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 the god if Verena like tried to do some special ritual to instead of like everyone having a specific spell to raise their mana, like raise the mana of everyone, and like by doing it, it sort of like exhausted her corporeal form and shunted her out of the out of the world. Maybe cause a ripping ripping reality, and she fell through, fell out of reverie. Hmm, because she definitely seems like a, a person who can dimension hop. Jeez, it's freezing out here. How is it this cold in the middle of summer? We are high up in the mountains. But also, the climate in certain areas of the island is dictated more by magic than by the seasons. Verena and I may have had a hand in that. Okay, hold on. We prep for this. Everyone hold still for a second. Much better. Jody, I told you to pick a cold weather outfit. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that cold. It's literally snowing. Relax, I've dealt with worse. You have no idea how cold Brightport gets in the winter. Fine, fine. Well, let's head out. Right. First, I think it would be best if you split off into pairs. Really? Well, okay. Melody and I will... Uh-uh-uh. I'm the teacher here. Allow me to make the teams. 
I sense some tension within the group. You've all been under a lot of pressure lately. I think you could use some room to breathe. Perhaps some time apart this little wilderness sabbatical will allow you to see things from a different perspective. Allison, you should go with Jody. And Melody, we'll go with Claire. Divide up your equipment if you need to, and let me know when you're ready to go. Ah, oh, damn, we're splitting. Hold on, you're supposed to mix physical and magical. So we got the healer and mage on one side, and we got the tank and fighter on the other. Uh, that's not a good split, in my opinion. We're ready. Ah, yes, the furry mountains. Oh, man. That I kind of like that slow, somberish piano. Snow Batman. Ah! Go away. Go away, sirens. Snow Batman. Come on! Happens. Either turn on your sirens and mume, or don't. Like, stop, stop. Just like turning them on, walking away, and turning them off again. A lot of nashes. Alright, so we got one new enemy, a little snow bats. Ooh, I think these are the dragon berries. So, hey. You've been awful quiet lately. I'm a pretty quiet person. Maybe, but not like this. You barely said a thing all day. Are you doing okay? What? Look, I know something happened with you and Allison. You can talk to me about it if you want. Are you like cool with Allison acting like nothing's wrong between you two? Should I not be? You tell me. No, I don't want my girlfriend to sulk. I don't want to bring the whole team down with me. I'd rather just focus on the mission and try to make myself useful here. Besides, no Allison's going through her own crap right now. She's just better at hiding it around you. Sorry, I didn't mean to fraud. Let's just look for more berries. Aww. She's just trying to help. Uh, definitely make a new save file and make sure I don't accidentally brick myself here. Oh, treasure chest. Bushy tailed bandit EX. EX? What is this? Mega Man Battle Network? That's only on Fridays! Oh, I just realized I should have given Melody a combat thing. Maybe maybe I can give her a skill skill book at point. I need, I need to check that out after, after battle. Ah! Hey, oh, Judgment. How dare you yeet me into the void like that. It's just inconsiderate. Ah, the squirrels are multiplying! And they're stabbing! Um. Maybe they can kill it in time? I'll just have to see. Oh! Oh, we got lucky! Boop! Hell yeah. Alright, so now we heal Claire, who has a death wish, apparently. Oh, the chance going well? Yeah! Avalanche, ooh. So, I need to learn more of an Inferno. One, so, huge hit on one enemy. Noted. Good for boss fighting. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like doing something more comfy on Monday evenings. Because Mondays always suck. So it is like a little treat. 
Although there is strife within the party today, um, the main character and her, girl and her girlfriend had a fight uh, last time. So they're kind of, uh, not just pain deer. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, let's go with Resilient Aura, and let's have Claire Kiss Beaverly so we can get that buff. Yeah, it's boosted by 15%. So we've gone up to get lessons from a dragon because we need to f we need to fight God basically, <laughs> you know usual new normal adventure party adventure party uh, campaign. But uh, what have you been up to? Had any fun stuff over this weekend? As one, does. yeah, yeah, it's, it's just an issue. You know, every Monday you guys slide in, slide in a couple hours to fight God. All right, that should finish off that squirrel, and hopefully it doesn't duplicate. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think we can just. And we'll just go with the lovely aura, and then we will scorch. Work on projects. Nice, nice. Especially if they're personal projects. Oh, my aura is not giving me two star power anymore. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. I also realize I definitely should get in different books. Because time magic isn't so useful. Well, super warm scarf. It kind of has the uh, um. What am I thinking? It has the heal over time thing, which is actually useful. Potion plus boulder pool. Potion explosion. Basically, I need to give her some combat ability. Oh, it's using spells. Hey, welcome on by, Phase Steak. Hey, Jiro. Hope y'all doing well on this fine, fine month of days. Uh, let's give her Wave Maker. Maybe. Bubble. Can leave enemies damp. Alright, alright, alright. Don't have any lightning spells from Claire yet, I just realized, which is kind of a bugger. I am doing fantastic, especially with you lovely peoples here, as we go through this saccharine journey of discovery. I can tell you what happened if you still want to know. Of course. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but... No, no. I don't mind. Allison said she wanted to quit. Oh. Does she still want to quit? I don't know. I mean, I guess I can't blame her if she thinks she won't stand a chance against Verena. I'm not sure anyone would. It's not that. It's me. I know she wouldn't feel this way if it weren't for me. I'm holding her back. She wanted to let you and Jody go on ahead to Green Ridge, without us, when we were leaving the desert, too. She had her doubts about me, and they were all confirmed by that stupid breakdown I had. That doesn't sound like the Allison I know. She always seemed to be your biggest cheerleader, too. Sorry. I'm rubbing salt in the wound. If there's anyone you should be mad at, it's me. Don't blame Allison. Let's just keep going. It is a pretty good day. As good as a Monday can be, day, can day. As day of a mun one can day. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or worse that I've had a lot of... I've also had like a huge fucking nap 
I was able to squeeze in. Probably going to pay for it later, but that's a problem for future Drecky to figure out how to explain things if anyone takes issue with it, but I don't know. I My maximum energy is lower than it used to be ever since I got the vid. As Mon is a day can Mon can day Mon. Yeah, 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 you get it. Look, I've played Pokemon, all right? You can't sit here and give me a sliding puzzle and expect me to be stumped by it. All right, I'm, I'm, hold on. I, know, I need to go here, 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 here. All right, all right. What if I go through here? I need to hit a switch. All right, so we have to go around. 